NASA has released the first wave of findings from a flyby of the most distant object ever explored in our solar system. The New Horizons probe completed a pass over an icy body known as the Ultima Thule. It's roughly 4 billion miles from Earth. Photos were taken roughly 2,200 miles away at the speed of 3,200 miles an hour. The first high-quality images were sent back to Earth. Earlier, a panel of NASA scientists discussed the probe's findings. We think what we're looking at is perhaps the most primitive object uh, that has yet been seen by uh, any spacecraft and may represent a class of objects which are the oldest and most primitive objects that can be seen anywhere in the present solar system. What we think we're looking at is uh, the end product of a process which probably took place in only a few hundred thousand or maybe a few million years at the very beginning of the formation of the solar system. For more on NASA's findings, I'm joined by Derek Pitts from Philadelphia. He's the chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute. So, Derek, th these are the first images that were sent back from the New Horizons probe. What do we learn from these pictures? Well, what we're learning from these pictures is that uh, the shape we're actually seeing is what's called a contact binary. Uh, this, these are two objects. Uh, originally, what were two objects that slowly coalesced and eventually touched to form this double-lobed object that we see that looks something like a snowman, or as one of the commentators said, it looks like uh, the BB-8 character from one of the Star Wars movies. Uh, so in this particular instance, we're seeing an object that is from the earliest history of our solar system, and hopefully the information that we'll glean from this will help us better understand what conditions were like in this early solar system and uh, better understand some of uh, how the planets of our solar system were formed as well. It does look a little bit like BB-8, I have to say. How long do you think it'll take to receive all those photos that were taken during the flyby? Well, I think this is one of the interesting aspects of this mission. You know, we talk about the object itself and we talked about the distance that it's traveled, but one of the other things that has to be considered is that there was a tremendous amount of data that was gathered as, as the flyby took place. But the information that was gathered is going to be sent down to Earth over a period of about 20 months. Wow. And one might ask, why is it going to take so long? Well, the rate at which they're sending the material back, the information back, especially at the power that's being generated by the spacecraft or the power of the signal that's being sent back requires them to take requires it to take 20 months they're only using a transmission power of about 15 watts 15 watts that's uh, just about the same amount of power as the light bulb in your refrigerator maybe even less wow. Derek how significant is this mission for NASA and what do you think they want to learn from this Oh, this is an incredibly significant mission for NASA. First of all, the spacecraft traveled so far over such a long period of time to get to this particular object. This object represents the oldest known object that we can identify in our solar system. It describes a period of time in the early history of the solar system when planets were first being formed. Hopefully, the information from this spacecraft will help us better understand what those early what the early environment of the solar system was like, what the early conditions were, and help us better understand how our planets and other planets form. So this is probably one of the most important uh, observations that uh, NASA scientists could make, especially given that the object is so old, the oldest object we've ever been able to come into contact with. Derek Pitts, thanks so much for joining us, Derek. Thanks for having me, Rena.